Hello and welcome back to Subnautica with myself, Holo. Thank you so much for joining me on the previous episode so far. Today we are going exploring once more, but this time with a bit more of a specific and direct objective. Now, last time we took our submarine, our True Blue, for its first voyage ever. And it was, it was a really cool experience. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it was a bit scary, admittedly, going over the edge of the world there and just dropping down into the depths, you know, where I don't know, hearing these weird sounds. And uh, some people left some comments on that video saying someone might have been pulling your leg or misinformation. There is no diamond forest. They probably were just describing it wrong. Unfortunately for me, um, it means there's, you know, no place there, apparently. Some other viewers actually went out there to have a look, and it is just barren and empty and that is too bad um i guess someone who told me that i just sort of took them for granted went and did it and it was fun for the episode something new but uh, unfortunately there was nothing there so today we're uh, we're taking the submarine and the seam off and we're gonna go to this signal there now last time um i i talked about how oh, oh, a little while ago anyway i had these two signals in my um, in my pod, one of them is about 1,300 meters away, and this one is 900. So they very clearly take me to different things. So I'm going to use this signal to go look for one of these new biomes. Now we've seen this mushroom biome, but there's something called the Kush biome apparently that I really want to find that should be somewhere out there. Now let's use this signal and see if we can't find this Kush biome. Now, if I'm, you know, shit out of luck with this, um, this signal, you know, whatever, if this goes wrong, it's not what I wanted. Quite simply, all we're gonna do is search for the mushroom biome, and we're gonna look around and explore, because we've only briefly glanced at that thing. We were a bit out of our depth. We didn't have our submarine. It was a bit scary, but now we have the, the submarine. We have True Blue. It should be a lot easier for us to spend some time there, really explore, really understand how that area works, like what's going on there, really like, you know, shatter any misconceptions or illusions about that zone. And then, uh, maybe explore around the edges of it because apparently I believe I, I, I looked it up I saw that this Kush biome is near to the the forest biome this mushroom forest So if we're able to find that we can then find the other quite simply Let's take a stop here. It's getting quite deep water already Large organic mass 500 meters away in this direction just over there So a few people were letting me know that they think maybe I could use solar power to recharge my submarine. Now, we don't know whether that's a 100% guarantee. It's just some people saying it would make sense if you could do that. Um, maybe you can. We're already back at the mushroom biome. Wonderful, wonderful. Be careful which way we go. Exactly. Be careful about the depth. So it looks like we got a different mushroom biome over here, maybe, since this is a different signal. We're just going to the middle here, nice and high above it, you know, safely above it. It's 200 meters away, straight line, straight line. And what we're going to do again is we're going to just search around, have a look at this area, maybe grab some all-important lithium if we need some, because we don't have any left over, that's for sure. It was quite hard to get the first time. And then search for this Kush biome. Great name, by the way. Kush. Fuck was that? Oh my god. <laughs> it's the submarine horn, guys. I was left clicking and it made that sound. Oh my god. Oh, scared me. <laughs> oh god. Did that scare you? <laughs> That's a very ominous sound, isn't it? God. <laughs> there it is. God, look at that thing. 
So, we've actually been inside something similar to this, if not the very same one. So what we want to do is we just want to explore the area quite simply and um, see what we can see for now. We might be doing that out of the submarine because it feels a little bit slower than the sea moth, for example, um, and just see if we can find it. Maybe it's behind the tree or something like that. But I do, I do actually want to look around, you know, more specifically into the area. So we'll go high enough so I don't sink. Is this stabilizing? Good. And then we'll leave this with the power that it's got, 70% power. We'll take the signal just in case I get lost. Is there anything else I should really think about taking? I think for now we'll be okay. Alright. Let's do it. I am about to drop into some very deep water. All systems online. Alright, Will. If all, sims all systems are online, safe to move. So, it's a very... Passing safe down. Very strange area, this. It's very intimidating, you know, when you come here for the first time, you really don't know what to expect. Speaking of don't know what to expect, what the hell is that thing? You see that? It's like a moving flower. I can't grab it. Whoa! It makes itself bigger, as though it will, like, like intimidate me or something, I guess. I don't know whether it got more colours when I did that, when I went in front of it, but it looked kind of like it, it did. Really interesting creature. Never seen one of those before. Didn't have a name either, at least we didn't get close enough to find a name. The world is just casually loading in front of us. Whoa, what is that? Are you seeing this? The ground is, like, charred black here. I love exploring this game. That doesn't look safe. What's, what's happened here? Why is it charred black? This, like, section of land. It go it goes up. Someone left a really um, useful comment. So I'd like to say thank you. Um, when I got my submarine sort of a little bit stuck last time, I was really unsure of what to do uh, to fix that situation. And someone just said uh, a very obvious fix for that problem. Basically what happened is I got caught on some land, on some sand, and I could have just dug my way out. I could have just dug, quite simply, a hole that would allow me to move um, when my submarine was got stuck. So, life tip. If in doubt, just dig a hole. I've dug a hole right here by coming down here, in terms of my safety. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Are those jellyfish? It looks like a big chunk of earth with like some sort of weird sucker attached to it. Oh, quartz. There's a fish on it. Oh, God, I hate those things. Well, there's a lot of quartz on this thing. Ah, fuck. God, I hate those things. Wish there was an easy way for me to fight them. I need some goddamn, like, plasma cutters, plasma rifles, or something along those lines to deal with these jerks. You know, like, some sort of, like, powerful, futuristic gun that I can just 
lay into those things. Look at that, man! Ah, here it comes. Wants me, wants me. Sounds being a bit weird right now, guys, in the game. Sorry for that. Early access. There we go. It's making sound again. I gotta look at these, man. I gotta look at what they are. Keeping my eye on that bastard, though. Okay, what is that? What even is happening here? It's like floating islands or something. I think someone mentioned something about this in a comment. It, it seems to be like just an island under the sea that is flying and it should I I can just touch it should I okay it doesn't seem to be doing any damage it's it looks so fucking cool Look at that thing. And there's not just these two. There's, there's, there's another one there. Another one there. And there's absolutely no music playing. Like, we've had atmosphere before, you know, in this game. We've had, like, creepy music, creepy sounds. But we're talking dead silence. And I quite specifically mean dead silence because it just feels like this area is dead oh my god no way it's those jumping crab things like from the ship you remember those these bastards are annoying let's get away from it Ooh. check out this cave there's weird blue flowers oh my god Oh my god. Oh god, there's another one of those bastards. What was that there? Gold. Basalt. Basalt. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You can get basalt here. Check it out. And it's like a, a consistent supply so far anyway. Of gold. So if you're in dire need of gold. This is the place to go. Obviously it's very dangerous. And very hard to get to. I want these bastards to leave me alone. So I think we may have discovered now. Everything in terms of uh, what you can mine. Oh diamond. Holy shit, I got my first diamond! That's what we were looking for! That's why we were exploring this entire time! We did it! We found diamond! And, oh, we got another one! This is where you get it! You get it in basalt chunks! Oh, I'm so happy about that! Right, okay, this is so cool! It's turning to day now, getting a bit brighter for you viewers, thankfully. Now, I am aware of my oxygen. Overly aware. That's why I'm going around really quickly here, looking for more chunks. So, great supply of gold here. And more importantly, diamond. I was just saying, I guess we've sort of seen everything now when it comes to what minerals you can get. But no, oh, look. It's a diamond. It's like a tiny, tiny quartz or something. Okay, my oxygen's not doing well. Where the hell is my submarine? See him off? There it is. Ah, right behind me. Whew. It's getting a bit nervous there. Very important I have this oxygen supply. So is that quartz? Uh, yeah, and I can see another diamond right there. So we want to really stock up while we're here as much as possible. So I'm just going to chill very still real quick. Get some ox oxygen back. Anyway, you know, that'll probably be enough. Ow. Is that like a giant chunk of... No, okay. I was like, is that a giant chunk of diamond there? No, it's just... This is the diamond. It's just quartz, but smaller. Bit dumb, that. Honestly, in my opinion, the fact that it looks identical uh, to quartz, it's just smaller. They definitely should um, fix that. It'd be very easy. It's just like changing the color of it from white to like, I don't know, blue or whatever works. Just to make sure it's a little bit more obvious. Obviously, it's obvious because it's tiny, like lithium. But lithium's pink. It's very different 
to quartz, whereas diamond's like identical looking. And you could probably argue that the reason for that is because diamond looks like that. Diamond is that color, sure. But uh, I don't know, for gameplay reasons, I feel like it would just be beneficial. Look at the size of this one. This is so much bigger than the other. Oh my God. Is there a consistent way to deal with these bastards? Are we talking like you need to make a diamond blade and cut them up? Use a heat blade and cut them up? Or is there a way to deal with them? I've heard rumors in comments that you can tame stalkers by feeding them something called peepers, which is, you know, one of the animals. We've seen them many, many times. They're like the, the fish um, that are yellow and have like a big single eye um and you can apparently feed them peepers and they'll be tamed and you can use them to get the teeth obviously i don't really know the purpose for that past you know well now i have one i guess it's a good point i need to eat should have brought my heat blades i could have caught up some of these fish inventory full no thank you we'll drop some uh quartz because we can get we can get lots of quartz. I think diamonds significantly more important than quartz. So we'll not pick up any more quartz now. All right, what I'm going to do quickly, get back to the seam off, regain some oxygen, and I'm going to go inside this one. There it is. Go inside one of these caves because this looks like a big, 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 big island. Like bigger than all the other ones we've been looking in. Maybe there's something of value in there, something important. I don't know. I have no idea, but we may as well have a look while we're here, right? We're, we're exploring. Do you think I can fit in that hole? This one. I can. Just barely. What is this? We've got coral shell chunks. More diamond. I'm just going to collect as much diamond as I can sort of get my hands on. And, like, that be my only real objective when uh, coming here. You know, I'll leave gold. I've got enough now. Look at those, like, rocks. See, they are definitely being held up by these, like, huge suction things. What is that? Okay. Random floating chunk there. And I think this may be one of the very few places that I can actually come to. To, uh... To gather diamonds. So there's this massive one here, but there's actually another big one down there. Oh my god. Again, I think the most intimidating thing about this area, by far, is the, the dead silence. There's no weird sounds playing, that's for sure. Here we go, so Warning. we got another... Maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. We're really deep down. It's really important that I have a rebreather for this reason. Let's keep looking for their diamond. There we go. I got another one. We're going to come back with like 20 diamonds or something. And as opposed to having zero, I'm very happy about that. I feel like we've made great success. Great success. Inventory full. No, thank you. I can get quartz anywhere. Can't get diamond anywhere. I, I think we're doing really well with this Subnautica playthrough, guys. We've really seen a lot of what the game has to offer. And uh, I've had a lot of really nice comments saying that, you know, I've sort of... Not me, necessarily, but the the footage, the gameplay, you know, seeing me play has inspired some people to give it a shot. What is this? Oh, just like a natural gas cloud there. Uh, yeah, but some people have said that, you know... Watching me play has sort of made them go, I didn't fucking even know about this game. And it looks awesome. And I'm really glad that so many of you have got behind the game. Oh, God. And they're enjoying it as much as I am. Because it's a really cool game. Oh, my God. There's a lot of these, ba these bastards in here. Jesus, this place is big. Much bigger than I expected. Holy shit, it goes further. I'm worried about my oxygen. It's all blue down here and dark. Get a lot of frame drops because how much is going on here. Let's get out of here now. Push him a look. Oh, bastard. So there's like, this is where the crab things come from. I wonder why and, you know, how they ended up coming to be at the ship. Like, what caused them to actually go there? 
like uh, sure there's like the technology whatever and i thought maybe they were like robot animals gone haywire or something that were you know originally they were uh you know like i don't know workers or like robots or something like that that worked for us you know and we would make them you know do things like i don't know repair things in vents and stuff and they kind of looked you know futuristic to me but no they're actual animals and they come from it would seem like this area deep down in the depths well i think we've got all the diamond we really need now i'm doing kind of bad on hunger honestly but we got to explore a brand new biome that we've never seen before and it's not this kush biome that i was talking about as well my god, it is huge. There's just so many of these islands. There's submarines in that direction. But yeah, if I start starving, starving, that's going to be a problem. We can't let that happen. So try and avoid that. Oh god, look at this place. It's just the, the those weird... They might actually be giant floaters. Like, they look like the, the pinky floaters that were attached to rocks, but like the advanced form. You know, like the the ultimate form of them. Quite quite interesting, quite quite cool. I really like it. So if we're going to survive, we're going to need to grab a couple of fish. Um, these boomerangs do actually give you quite a lot of hunger, but they are fast as hell. So we'll just grab them as quick as we can. And we got some Gary fish here as well. I am a bit full on inventory. I'm uh, acknowledging that. See that? So. I would say, come on, give give me it. Thank you. Just need one more. Ah, oh, I'm struggling now on food. I think I'm pushing my luck. I'm really pushing my luck now. I need to get back to the submarine, use the fabricator in the submarine, cook up this food, and stop myself from starving to death. Oh no! How much damage am I taking? 7% 7% per This isn't good I don't know what to do I don't have any way to get the food back I just have to get back to the submarine Maybe I can do it in time I'm close, right? I really pushed my luck Oh no There's so much diamond here I don't want to lose it. If I could just get back to the submarine, at least I'd have that. I can't even see it. I feel like I'm not moving. I can see some mushrooms. I'm going to go up as high as I can. Above a mushroom. There, I'm right next to the submarine. I'm next to the submarine. If I die now, I've got back to the submarine. Fuck. Fuck. How much did I lose? Ah, oh, fuck. There it is. I can see the, the submarine. I can see the ground. I can see the sea moth. I died inside the sea moth. I wonder if that'll affect the loot. Unfortunately, guys, I think I'm shit out of luck. That really sucks. So what I'm going to have to do is go back. Um, and see if I can grab some diamond again. So, what I'm going to do this time, not make the same mistake, is grab some fish now, get food, go back, get diamond, and then I will come back. Okay, got some bad news. It turns out that those giant eel things that make that horrible sound are also down here with me. It's not what I wanted to see or hear at all. But that is the case. There's one now. I've completely lost my way on how to get to these islands. This is so, so lame, guys. I don't know where to go specifically to get back to these islands, so... As soon as one notices me, I'm fucked. Look at it. It's huge. 
and I have no way to fight it. Man, I was so excited to get some diamond and bring it back, and I got... I just got so greedy, I guess. Ultimately, I only needed to bring back one diamond. Caution. Maybe next yeah. time I'm going to have to go to the Koosh biome or something. But I've spent the past, like, half an hour looking, guys, and I, I can't find it. So if you have any, like, specific directions um, to the Koosh biome, maybe next time I'll do that. Um, but I just can't seem to... I can't seem to do it, guys. I just can't seem to find it. The um, the island biome, whatever it's called. But this Koosh biome, that's what I'm looking for next time. I assume there's diamonds there. Let me know if there is. And uh, I'm going to go back to my pod. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. You know, I think next time I go traveling, journeying, just find something new like that. I'm going to create some beacons that essentially work just like that. And show you an area or a thing that you can go to um, and restore you, you know, just know how to get there all the time, basically. All right, so what I'm doing here, in case you're wondering, is trying to park right over the solar power panels. I'm about as close as I'm ever gonna get to these solar panels, so there we go. And I think I crashed into my base a little bit, and it's, uh, not doing too well, so I'm gonna need. Grab, I'm gonna need to grab my welder. Actually, I think it might be in my submarine, and uh, go fix that. Looks really cool. I've done it once before. The whole like um, thing fills with water. Uh, looks, like I said, really fucking cool. Okay, so let's take the knife. So I actually have the knife again. Um, ship seems to be leveling off. There we go. Whatever. Let's go fix that base. Get out. You know what? I'm gonna go inside the base, see what it looks like on the inside, see if there's any water like piling in. Because it does look cool. Check this out. It's like just all damaged and shit. Really easy to fix. It's just like the base. But obviously it's very important that you don't do that. You don't compromise it. See, it did get water in there. I was swimming in this area a little bit, you know, losing oxygen. And it does actually completely fill with water at some points and it, it is cool but also kind of you know scary it's not something you want to do so gotta be very careful not to crash into it again hopefully that solar power will power the um, generator or whatever but um, like it will power the submarine but I don't think so I got as close as I could and it ended up leveling off and moving away from it again so I'm not sure that's gonna work so I've got a surprise for you now, if you recall, down here in the engine room, we have this upgrade console. And you can apparently make one other, thanks to uh, everyone in the comments for letting me know these cool things, these cool facts. Uh, wait, we don't want to go down there just yet. The other one that you can currently make is a hull, sort of, what's it called? Frag uh, reinforcement, right? So what it does is... You know how normally when we go below 200 feet in the submarine, it starts becoming a problem? You know, you start taking damage, essentially. And it's a risky thing. Super risky, in fact. What this does is allow you to go below 200 feet safely. And I don't know actually how many feet that we're talking, like 300, 400. But it's going to be very useful. Right, went and got some food while I was waiting for it to... Um finish sort of learning the blueprint let's go have a look have a look see uh, how we actually do make this thing now it's not in this it looks like it's not in the workshop so it could be in the fabricator the submarine aha the, f the whole reinforcement module we're gonna need a plasteel ingot just a single plasteel ingot which takes lithium and titanium ingots fortunately for me I just went and collected a few, so I can grab one, I'll have a titanium ingot, and lithium. You know, while I was there, what I actually did, because I figured, you know, it might come up, and I'm very glad I did, because it would mean I'd have to go back to the mushroom biome otherwise, is I grabbed a few lithium while I was back um, in that biome. So we have one lithium right here, and we just need one uh, titanium. Now, it looks like the solar power is not charging the power cell, unfortunately. 
uh, we did at least give it a try guys um, otherwise I'm gonna need other energy saving tips because that one obviously unfortunately did not work right then uh, all we need is that ingots there we go and we've already made it amazing oh plasteel sorry uh, there we go and we've already got it like that how easy was that wonderful to get another reinforcement module now I don't know whether it will tell me how much it does It'd be wonderful if it did but we're gonna find out in oh, mere moments no matter what you know it's been a while since we walked through the launch bay got caught on this door fun times there we go uh, what's important is that you're supposed to close these doors so it's not like compromised um, you know, if, if there's an area that gets breached, you know, you want to seal off the water as much as possible. But I just wanted to walk through the engine room again. It's been a while since I actually have done that. Uh, wrong side. This side. There we go. Let's have a look. Crush depth now 400 meters. Safe depth now 300 meters. So I can go below 300 safely. Before it was 200 where I just couldn't go below. So that is a huge improvement. Nice to see another module in the uh, in the slot. And uh, now we really need to improve and fix this energy situation. So if you have any advice for me on terms of power, instead of just making new ones and replacing them, we're talking solar power, we're talking regenerating power. I would really love it, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. So sad that we lost the diamonds. We didn't get to quite make the diamond knife, but we're gonna have to find another one, another biome with more, diome, uh, more diamonds. And if you have any advice on to where to go for that, let me know. Thank you for watching, guys. I've been Aaron, you've been you, and I will see you next time.